Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive home page using Figma. And in the previous video, we completed creating all the components for our design. So here we can see we have components for button, heading, and also components for this testimonial card and also this course card. And I also have this image over here which we're going to use in our design. And I will leave the link of this Figma file in the description of this video. Alright, so let's get started. Now we will start with the desktop version of our design. So if you go back to our uh, completed design, here we can see this is the desktop version. And in this video, we will design this uh, hero section over here. So let's go ahead and create a frame. So here in the Figma file, let's click on this frame button and let's click over here. And we'll set the width to 1366 and the height to 768. All right, this is going to be the desktop version. So I'll just rename this to desktop. All right, now the first thing we will do is we will create this background color over here. So we have a linear gradient background color over here. So let's go back and uh, let's create a rectangle. And we'll create a rectangle with the same size. So I'll just span this for the entire frame. All right, now let's set the color of this rectangle. So let's click on this color. And I'll just change solid to linear. And for the first color, I'll just set the color hex value to 6F7DFB. And then for the next color, I'll just type the hex value to 26308C. And we'll set the percentage to 100. All right, this is going to be our background color. Now, the next thing we will do is we will lock this layer. So even if we drag this by mistake, it should not be moved. So let's lock this layer. And now we can see that the layer cannot be selected. All right, now the next thing we will do is we'll create a layout grid. So let's click on this frame. And here we can see we have this option called layout grid. So let's click on this plus icon. And let's click on this layout grid settings. And I'll just change this to columns. And I'll set 12 columns. So we will work in a 12 column layout. All right now let's create this logo over here. So let's click on text layer and uh, click over here and uh, let's type GD and uh, let's set the font family to railway and we'll set the font size to 40 pixels and uh, we will set the font style to black and the color is already set to white. All right now the next thing we will do is we will create these menu items over here. So I'll just duplicate this. So I just press Alt and drag this over here. And uh, for the menu items, we need to have about services and our work. So I'll just double click over here and uh, let's type about. And uh, let's change the font size to 16 pixels. And we'll change the font to Poppins. And we'll change the style to bold. Right now let's create services and our work. So I'll just duplicate this and we will have a gap of 60 pixels in between this. So if you press Alt and hover over this, we can see we have 60 pixels of gap and let's type services and let's duplicate this and bring it over here and here we'll just type our work and then we need to add a button called enroll now. So we have already created a component for the buttons. So here we can see we have this component. So let's add the component over here. So let's go over here to assets and from the components, I just drag this button component over here and we will have a space of 60 pixels and we'll change the text to enroll now. All right, now let's align everything to the grid. So here we can see we have this grid line. So I'll just move it to the right and uh, we'll also select all of this and uh, I just click on this button called align vertical centers and now we can see everything is centered and let's group all of this so I'll just right click over here and click on group selection or you can just press ctrl G and I'll just name this menu items and I'll just name this logo and now let's move this to the right so I'll just align this with the right grid line over here and now let's select both of this and uh, let's align everything to the center. 
and now let's make this a group so I'll just press Control G and I'll just change the name to menu bar and let's select this and we will have a spacing of 42 pixels from the top so if you press alt we can see that we have 63 pixels at the top so let's move this up and uh, now we can see we have 42 pixels at the top right now let's create the main title so let's click on this text layer and click over here and we need to type learn the art of game dev and let's go over here to the right and let's change some of these values over here I'll just change the font size to 50 pixels and let's change the font to railway and we will set the font style to black and we'll decrease the width over here and we will set the line height to 125 percent right now let's create this subheading so let's drag this down here and I'll change the font size to 16 pixels and we'll change the font to poppins and I'll just change the style to regular and let's set the line height to 200 percent right now let's add some text over here alright so I have added this text over here now after that we have this button so for that we already have a component so I'll just go over here to assets and from the components I'll just drag this button over here and we need to have a light button so let's select light and we also need to add an icon so let's click on icon and I'll just change the text to enroll now and now let's align everything correctly so let's align everything to the grid and even this paragraph and even this button and I think that looks alright so I'll just select all of this and let's move this down a little bit and now we can see we are in the center right now let's add the image to the right so here we already have this image so I'll just duplicate this and bring this over here and we'll just align this uh, over here to the right right now let's hide this layout grid so I'll just select the frame and click on this eye icon right now the last thing we need to add is this achievement card over here so let's create a text and uh, I'll just type 32k and I'll just change the font to poppins and I'll just change the style to extra bold or let's keep it at bold and uh, let's duplicate this down and here we have students enrolled so I'll just type students enrolled and uh, for this uh, we will have a font size of 36 pixels and we'll change the color so let's select this color and we will have this dark color over here and for this text we will have a font size of 16 pixels and we'll set it to poppins and regular and we'll also change the color of this text to the dark color right now let's create this rectangle so let's click on this rectangle and create one over here let's go over here to layers and we can drag this down or you can just press ctrl and press the square brackets and we can move it down or up or right, let's bring it over here and let's increase the width and the height and I think that looks alright and let's add a border radius of 24 pixels and let's set the color to white and we also need to give it a 3d look over here like this so let's duplicate this rectangle and let's bring it over here to the right and uh, let's change the color to this color right here and I'll just bring it below this other rectangle and I think we have a linear gradient over here so let's select this color and let's change this to linear and I'll just select the first color and change this to 6F7DFB and I'll change the last color to 3B448F and let's change the alpha to 100 All right that's it with this card right here All right now let's select this and uh, let's group it and I'll just name this achievements and we also need to add one more for this rating so I'll just duplicate this and bring it over here 
and let's change uh, this to we have 4.7 so I'll just type 4.7 and here we'll just type overall rating and we also need to have this star over here so for that we're going to use a plugin called Iconify so I'll just right click over here and go to plugins and click on Iconify and let's search for star and here we can see all these icons I'll just select this one from here and let's drag it over here and I'll just ungroup this so right click over here and click on ungroup and now let's add this star inside this group so I'll just move this a little bit to the left and uh, let's decrease the size of the star and add this over here I think that looks alright so let's bring it to the center and let's decrease the width of this a little bit and let's also decrease the width of this one right here or that looks alright I think we can decrease the height a little bit and uh, I'll just select all of this and group this and we'll also decrease the height of this one right here or that looks alright so that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will continue designing this uh, home page. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.